Coming back at you like Dracula. Welcome back, everybody, to another exciting episode of Lawrence's Let's Plays. For those of you guys that are returning users, thanks so much for your continued support. And for those of you brand new to my channel, welcome aboard. Guys, do uh, leave a thumbs up to the video if you like the content. It lets me know that you're enjoying the content and looking forward to more of it. With that being said, make sure that you do consider subscribing to my channel and ringing the notification bell, as that will allow you to be the first to know as soon as I've uploaded new videos. Also, guys, remember it is through your participation and your continued support that this channel will grow. With nothing really left to say, my name is Lawrence, and let's play. So first off, I wanted to let you guys know that um, shout out to uh, one of my closest friends who is also a subscriber, Randy B. Good looking out, my friend. He let me know something I was not aware of. So I was complaining before about why can I not quick menu in my pouch to get access to my horse. Well, he informed me if you hold the Y button, and then look, there's my ring. Bam, press down, there's my horse. Cool. So he showed me that, and he also showed me something else I thought was neat. It gives us another kind of unique way to play the game. If I go in and I select my equipment, and uh, in my left hand, you'll see my right hand has my Uchi Katana, Katana sword. If I go in here, and I deselect the shield and the bow. You will see. Okay, I didn't deselect the bow. Technical difficulty, standby. There we go. Deselect the bow. So now when I select over, you see I have nothing. And what's cool about this is now when I hold the left trigger button, biggity bam, look at that. Classic samurai stance. It allows for me to wield this weapon with two hands. While, uh, while the stance looks really cool, what I really like is when I go ahead and do my power attack by holding or hitting the right trigger, now he does this attack, which is pretty cool. That's a pretty nasty looking real quick slash. So there's just a couple things I wanted to show you that I learned. We're going to call our horse in. Uh, hold Y, Y, press him down. There's my horse. Let's go. Let's ride. Let's not do that, though. I jumped off the horse. That's not what I intended. So what we're going to do in this episode, ladies and gentlemen, is we are going to go back to that cave. Coastal cave down here at the bottom. I am going to go ahead and collect some row of fruit. Because I found out also through Randy B, that is uh, one of the things, well, most of the stuff in this game you can sell and get a bunch of your golden runes to use, which you know um, we've already discussed how important they are because not only do they level up your attributes, they also allow you to buy things from the merchant. And it seems like all the merchants accept runes as payment. Hey, stop stomping me, bro. You're about to get slashed. Heavy slash, take it out the magnus. Also, I didn't do it this time, but I realized that you can stun a lot of these enemies. I, I've been farming this guy off, you know, nothing. during time I was playing today, not recording, and like you stun him, and he just falls right on his stomach and makes it so easy to kill him. Not today, Red. Taking out them ankles. And you also see, yeah, I farmed a good bit when I was. Uh, playing when I wasn't recording, so I'm sitting at like 21,000 of those golden runes, which is always fantastic. Golden skull, let's crush that. Get some more golden runes, thank you very much. I'll take that. So we're going to go back to the coastal cave in this episode. It's a little coastal cave uh, revisit or redo. And the reason why is because I let uh, Randy know about this beach down here. And if you can see off in the distance there, there's a cool looking section you can get to, but I wasn't sure how to make it, because in this game, uh, when you try to swim, it's a wrap, and you're like instantly dead. You cannot swim in this game. I don't know if it's because you're like wearing too much armor or what the case is, but you cannot swim. It's instant death. But we can make it over there by going through the coastal cave. First things first, I'm going to go over here. Because I need to talk to this merchant. Because I am going to buy a torch. 
goes. I don't want any trouble. My man, I'm not bringing you any trouble, but I do want to purchase a torch. Where is the torch? Well, interesting. He did have a torch for sale, guys, I promise. It looks as though people are merchants' inventory and what they have on sale looks like it changes. It must not always be the same. So I may have to go to a site of grace to be able to get him to change his inventory because he had torches for sale and I had every intention of going into this cave. So we're going to go down here and we are going to go to a site of grace and we are going to rest at that site of grace because there's one coming up right here because I need a torch. <laughs> Past time, sure, whatever. We'll do a uh, pastime till noon, that's fine. Alright, hopefully he has a torch for sale. Or I could be wrong, and maybe Randy told me that the torch was for sale by Santa Claus up there at the Church of Ella. So if this guy doesn't have a torch this time, we're going to go back to the Church of Ella. All right, my man. You ain't gonna get no trouble for me. Let's go. Okay, so yeah, I, maybe his inventory does not change, and maybe I'm wrong about that. Yeah, maybe the merchant's inventory has always stayed the same. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think it was the other guy that had it. Old Saint Nick. We're gonna go visit Saint Nick again. Church of L. Let's go. You gotta stop that, bro. Yep. Death comes for us all. Just for you a little bit quicker, buddy. Get that log out of my way. Also, I need to do something with him anyway. Something else uh, that was for sale. Again. That Randy let me know. That I did not realize. Old Saint Nick up here has a crafting kit for sale, and I want that. Because you can actually craft healing items, you can craft weapons. So to me, it'd be nice to have a like the ability to craft a, like a, a healing item then I'm not just only relying on healing by using my crimson flasks it's nice to have another uh, way to heal yourself brother I am taking out your legs like nobody's business good night give me that thousand thank you yeah I'm not gonna allocate any of these resources uh, today during this video I think I'll do that uh, in episode 9. So we're going to go over here and we're going to talk to Santa Claus. Good. Save at the side of grace. Okay. Please sell torches. I'm pretty sure he sells torches. Weren't you? Well, you're back. Care to buy something? As a matter of fact, I do. Biggity bam, baby, let's go. Hey, you know, I'm buying a torch, let's do it. Can I only hold one at once? Interesting. Telescope allows viewer to see far away things. Furl calling finger ray reveals co op. Don't care about that. Cracked pot container required for crafting cracked pot items. Yeah, I'm going to buy one of those. Crafting kit. Here it is. Yeah, because before, my menu didn't show that as an option. Or rather, it was, yeah, containers. You will need crack pots or other containers to craft certain items. You will not be able to make more of those items. Then you have containers. Container items will run out with use. 
but the containers themselves will remain. All right. So if I go here, before this was grayed out in my, and um, when I pulled up the inventory menu with the item crafting menu, you can make various items from materials that you find. You can learn to craft more items by finding cookbooks. Cool. So now I can create some things. Uh, a fire pot to throw at enemies. Shows you exactly the items you need. Pretty intuitive as far as uh, the UI is concerned. So, yeah. For the most part, I like the user interface in this game, but there's definitely some things that I would have personally changed if I was the dev on this that would have made it better. Uh, Rainbow stone arrows. That's pretty dope. So, bought that. Got me a torch. Uh, maybe I'll do some item crafting uh, in the next episode. But for now, horsey away. Let's roll. Let's go to this cave. Because I want to get through that cave and see uh, what's going on on the other side. That pops you out the other side. Because that is how you get there. You have to go through Coastal Cave. Because you are not swimming there, my man. You drop like like a stone like a dead weight in the water super slash on your legs yep you're the mangle son oh you gotta stop that I'm not, I'm not keen on that and when he stops it does a lot of damage and it has range too like he he hits you with range too like like a area of effect attack Get some of this 208 damage. 322, 436. Come on, bro. Uh, taking a magnus. He goes pulling out a sword. Overkill, bro. It's not necessary. Uh, okay. Uh, let's not do that again. That was bad. That was really bad. Let's not do that again. Yeah, we are not going to do that again. That was dumb. I, I had a feeling that was going to be a little too far for my my horse to deal with. Instant killed him. Instant killed me. That wasn't good. Let's go claim our stuff back. Because I am not about to lose 20-something thousand golden runes. I can bet you that. Give me that. Where is my stuff? Right in front of him. Thank you. Goodbye. Yeah. Let's be smarter this time, Rich. There you go. Yeah, I want to know what is going on over there. Because that looks pretty cool. And I feel like we might be running some boss territory over there. You're dead. Come on. Get wrecked, get wrecked, get wrecked. R-E-K-T, my man. Yeah. Oh, what are you doing, shield guy? Oh, okay. You take your slick. Come on. Breaking that shield barrier. No shield defense today, punk. Right, let's do this. There's a bunch more enemies to fight down here too after you fight the boss. There's a bunch of those, I don't know what they are, goblins or something. Alright, so how do we equip the torch? Oh also uh, when I was playing not recording I found another stone sword key because I have discovered a new location be on the lookout for that in a future video I'll just show you where that is so directly from the uh, well like where you pop out into um, Wimgrave go directly right and here is dragon burnt ruins I know Woo! dragon burnt ruins sounds pretty cool I know there's some stuff going on in dragon burnt ruins and we're gonna find out in a future episode all I did was just pop pop it on the map so I'd be able to put it on there so I could always fast travel to it or just know that it's there. Alright, how do I use a torch? Oh, you know what? 
I thought I have to, uh, I don't want to discard it. Can I just go over here? Hang on. Hang on, guys. Bear with me here. I don't care about none of that. Head. Shields. Okay, how? Interesting. I don't want to discard it. Weave? I guess. Um, no. No. I'm not real keen on that. Come on, baby. Here we go. Now we got some light. Hit. We can still stab with one hand. Oh, can I still sneak? Yes, I can. Come on now. Hit. Get wrecked, son, and give me that cave moss. There it is. Yeah, because these, these jack holes, man, they were going nuts on me before. Let's go, buddy. Uh, I don't, even, I don't have the ability to block, son. It's a wrap for you. I wonder, can I attack with this? Okay, yes I can. Oh, you can even hold it up. Cool. You're wrecked, son. You got no chance. What? Too good for you, buddy. Oh, not for that one, though. Never mind. Oh, you're about to get dashed, Dad. Good. Where are you going, bro? Oh, sick. Catch him on fire. Oh, yeah. What, son? Give me that cave moss. Now that I've got... Ooh, a falchion. Come on. Oh, looky here. I knew there had to be a way to get back out of here. Looky here. I had a feeling there had to be a way to get back. Okay. Nice to know. I wonder how long this torch will last for. Let's get moving. Yeah, there was a bunch of enemies once you get through fighting that boss. Do -do 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 -do. Got my torch now, baby. Everybody can see what I just going on in the cave. We got here. Return to entrance. No, return to the entrance. Let's go. All right, punks. I know you're coming. Or not? Is there no more enemies. Where's the enemies? Oh, there's one. Good. Yeah, come on, break it. Yes. Oh, oh, man, my slash for that. Oh, let's try with this guy. Oh yeah, son, broke your, broke your guard. What? You're dead, bro. Face it. And that's the bottom line, because Lawrence says, "Let's play." Said so, punk. Yep, just what I figured. It takes you right out that cave. Yes, nice. What we got going on down here? Other side of the beach. Oh, crab. Dead crab. Sorry, crabs. I almost kind of feel bad killing these crabs. They're only giving me 12 golden roots anyway, but... You know, I see stuff. I'm going to kill it. Because in this game, you better initiate combat, buddy. Because if you don't... Like, everything is out to get you. Like, this game truly makes you feel like... You are an unwelcome visitor to a foreign land. Like, everything wants to kill you. Everything wants you dead.
I'm liking this. I know I saw like a structure up here. It's got to be a um, site of grace around here somewhere, surely. But yeah, it's, um, shout out to Randy for like giving me those tips, man. I really appreciate it. It definitely helped with the horse and stuff like that, the dual wielding combat or the dual wielding, you know, stance and also the fact that uh, you can sell like pretty much everything in the game. And he said like all this row of fruit I've been collecting, I should be selling some of it because I think it's worth 10, 10, uh, of the golden runes every time you sell one. I'm like, okay, that's cool. Cause uh, I'm not kidding when I said I could make a row of fruit salad guys. Look at all this row of fruit I got. As soon as I get to it. So many menus. Where's my row of fruit? Did that pass it? Hold up. Oh no, I'm in item crafting. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Hang on. Uh, row of fruit, 178. So, like, that'll give me a lot. When you figure it's 10. Shit. Uh, if you figure it's 10. Uh, 10 per uh, one you sell. That's quite a bit. Yeah, so if I sell 80, that's 800 um, golden runes. Uh, yeah, baby, here we go. I knew there would be a side of grace up here. Biggity! Lost Grace discovered. Yes, it was. Uh, I guess I don't need the torch anymore. Yeah, let's, let's make a change. I did want to check this sword out and see what's shaking like bacon with it. Is it any better? Let's see, 115.23, definitely not better in physical. Uh, I'm going to say that's looking like a no. Uh, yeah, 31 magic, damage, negation, fire. It goes up by like a percentage point. But I lose to my physical by three. It's not worth it. So I'll just sell that. Like, definitely going to start selling weapons that I'm, I know I'm not going to use. Because, again, you know, this game, you know, golden runes are so important to level up your attributes and buy things from merchants. It's, it's worth, you know, once you've gathered up so much stuff to go ahead and sell it. And I'm starting to get to that point where I feel like I'm collecting a decent amount of equipment. I'm going to start selling things. Get me some more golden runes, baby. All about them golden runes, baby. What is going on in here? Church of Dragon Communion. Come on. What is that? Altar looking thing. Oh no. Examine altar. I don't know guys. I'm kind of nervous to examine that altar. I got to be honest. In a, in a church called Church of Dragon Communion. A.K.A. where dragons like get together and hang out. I don't know. Let me kind of check around here a little bit. See what's going on. Oh, well, let's do it. Ritual of Dragon Communion. Oh. What do we got? Offerings, Dragon Heart, Channel, uh, Dragon Fire Incantation. Okay. Channels, Dragon to Spew, Flame Forth. Transforms Caster into a Dragon to Spew, Flaming Breath. Whoa! Incantation of those who have hunted dragons and feasted upon their hearts. Wow, okay. There's, theirs is a pure and overwhelming power. Dragon Claw. Tear through foes with dragon claws. Dragon Maul. Transforms caster into a dragon to bite enemies before them. Okay, that is sweet. The ability to turn into a dragon. Come on now. That is, that's super fresh. Dragon fire. So you gotta... To, yeah, but to earn those abilities, you have to kill dragons. And, uh, yeah. I am nowhere near strong enough to be taking on those dragons. That ain't happening. Not anytime soon, my friends. Not anytime soon. What 
else is through there. Maybe. I'll put this sucker on the map now. Church of Dragon Communion, come on. Well, I think we're going to go back to where I was yesterday, guys. Right back here, we're going to warp to the Summoner, uh, Summon Water Village outskirts. Because this is where I ran into the uh, undying skeletons. Including the um, the uh, Grim Reaper looking guy, or multiple Grim Reapers, which was ridiculous. So, I figured we would travel further out this way. There is a guy on a boat. Like, like the guy from the River Styx or something, man. Is that Charon? Tibia Mar Oh, that's a boss is what that is. Okay. Let's go, punk. I'm scared of you. Okay, where'd he go? You shouldn't be. Wow, bro, you are dead. You're gonna keep coming back to life like the other guy, aren't you? Okay, well, how? Uh, what? How am I supposed to kill you? Oh, no, 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 no. What are you doing? Roll out of the way, dummy. Nope. Can, can I even do damage to you? Like, eventually do I do enough damage where you don't keep respawning? Alright, the torch is probably not going to work. Oh, will the torch work against the... Nope, not like that. Get you on fire, son. Alright, let's figure something out here. Man, your range is ridiculous, bro. I gotta get my... Yeah, I gotta... Yeah. I need to get my... Shield! Yeah, we'll take that skull. Yep. Oh, I'm playing soccer with skulls again. Stop that. Give me that. It's mine. Stop it. All right. So we're going to go over here. We're going to get some rusty rest on. Yep, yep, yep. All my stuff back. And we are going to go back to the equipment. We're going to get rid of this thing. Like immediately. Yeah, we need to get rid of you. The bow. Where's my shield? Oh, did I weave that thing? Is that what the weave thing was? Like, did I like drop it in its place or something? Because I did not want to do that. Really would need a shield. All right. Uh, we are on a quick warp again. Uh, where is my place? Nope. Nope. Right there, Church of Ella. I'm pretty sure Santa Claus sells a shield. I need a shield. Wait. Won't you? You're back. Care to buy something? I do. Let's go. I know you got a shield. Large of the shield. Bought. Thanks. Goodbye. I do want to buy more of those cookbooks. You'll see that uh, on the screen he had cookbooks that are what you buy to be able to uh, craft more things. I definitely want to be able to craft more things. What is going on? Oh, are you serious? I wonder if my shield was there. No, I guess I, I really did leave that shield behind. That was stupid. Uh, shield. There we go. Come on now. Parry and all that good stuff. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Fast travel. So you know what? We're going to take that guy on. We are going to take that guy on. I don't know if we're going to beat him. Or we'll give it the old try, though. The old college try. 
I think. Come on, punk. Uh, I would like to think that even though he's pulling that continuous regenerating crap that those other skeletons were pulling, including the Grim Reaper guy, that eventually this guy is just going to die for good. I'm hoping. I'm hoping I'm going to start seeing his meter go down. That's just probably another one of those fights that I probably shouldn't even be uh, messing with this guy, but you know what? Let's do it. Let's see if we can take this guy out, guys. Um, where'd he go? Man, he straight pulled a disappearing act, man. Where did he go? Punk, I want to... I want to fight. Where are you at? Like you ain't coming back to life. What? Or, okay, no, you are coming back to life. Well, how are you gonna act like I, I did damage to you, but then you, I didn't do damage to you? What? Is that him? Yeah, I think that might be him. Put that. Oh, what? Well, not her punk. Oh yeah, that's what happens. That's what happens, bro. That's what happens when you mess with me. You get the dash stab from from way back, baby. Come on, good. Um, he's just gonna keep coming back to life. So we're gonna have to, yeah. We're gonna figure out what's going on with this. My man just keeps coming back to life over and over and over again. So there's gotta be a way to break some kind of seal or something that's going on that they're getting uh, this come back to life stuff going on. Cause I don't get it. Mushroom, okay, that's great. That's not gonna help me to make him not keep responding. Yeah, what's up, son? You don't think I know how to block? Well, this is great practice with, for combat, for up close melee combat, but it doesn't mean no good whenever. It hit me in the air when I can't kill these guys for good. Oh my. It's enough for you. Man, that range is crazy. Oh. Wow, are you serious? Are you serious right now, bro? Come on, punk. Yeah, what's up now? What's up now, son? What? Took two of you on at once. You don't know about this. Oh yes, I am doing damage now. Come on, punk. Okay. Oh, come on, baby. What's up now, punk? Dude, I'm slicing the crap out of you. Let's go. Oh, you would disappear. You're a punk. You are a punk, bro. Come on, get some more of this. Yeah, what's up? What's up, buddy? Oh. What? What? Oh, dude, he done killed his own dudes. 
That's cool. Oh yeah, we uh, yeah we don't want to be around that. We don't want to be around that. Where can I call my wolves? Now maybe. Hey bro, 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 bro. Shenanigans. Oh, you won't hit me with your four. Okay. Um, I want to call my wolves. Can I call my wolves? Oh, dude, you're a punk. Come on. Yeah, what's up? What's up? What? is up son don't want to wait oh man i need the hill uh no i mean i am straight wrecking that fool but i am trying to call my wolves in and they won't leave me alone oh my god is it under equipment i don't even know what it's under Oh yeah, baby. You know that's right. Let's go, Wolfpack. Let's go, baby. Your punk. Your punk. Your punk. Your punk. Get him, Wolves. Yeah, distract that fool. What punk? Oh yeah. Look at my Wolves though. The wolves are putting in work. Let's go, baby. Yeah, don't just focus on them though. Let's find that Mariner. So I think uh, Warrens is about to take out a boss. About to take out the first boss that I've taken out yet. Let's see what I find that fool. Keep getting wolves. Found you. I found you, punk. Oh my god, your jump sucks, bro. Come on. Come on with it. Come on with it, son. No, no, no. We got we gotta get out of there. You got to get out of there. Wow, that was a long range attack, bro. Oh my god. Well, I have no crimson tears. Are you serious right now? Oh, come on, man. I'm so close to killing that dude. Well, since he's a boss, going back up here, is it going to give him all his health back? Cause I, I mean, I got no choice. I didn't start crafting anything to, like, craft health potions and shit and stuff. Um, let me see. Item crafting. Can I craft some health? Please tell me I can craft some health. I need some health. Consumables. Where is my health? Oh, guys. Man, I hate to do this. Man. I didn't intend for this video to run this length, either. Really didn't. I wanted this to be back to my uh, typical 30-some-odd-minute videos. But, yeah, this one's going to run a little bit longer, guys, because I want to kill this boss. Yeah, he's got all his health back. Of course he does. Yeah, I knew it. Right. Oh. Come on, punk. So I get what it is. You can only do damage to him when he's in the boat. What, punk? Oh, we gotta get out of there. We gotta get out of there. Appreciate you killing your own dudes for me. Get him, Wolves. Get him, Wolves. Alright, get go, 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 go! Get him, Wolves! Oh, we're getting out of there. Sure, we're getting clear out of there. Where are you Oh, bro! You little sneaky sneak. You little sneaky sneak. Get off of me. 
Get them wolves. But I'll tell you what, summoning them spirit wolves is nice. Y'all go. Good enough. Yeah, summoning spirit wolves is definitely nice. Get them spirit wolves. Get greedy. Can't get greedy. That's the key. Can't be trying to get too many hits out. Good. Oh, I think I got him stunned. No, get out of there. Oh my god. So much damage. No, no, no. We definitely are getting away from that attack. No, sir. Come here, punk. Yeah, that's what I thought, bro. You better disappear. You better disappear, punk. Nope. Not today, bud. I call my wolves again. Nope. Oh yes I can. Oh yes I can. Flask of Crimson Tears. No no no. Punk. Nope. God, bro, are you serious with this? No. Absolutely not. No, bro. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Yeah, we need some crimsons. No, bro, you gotta stop it. Uh huh, what's up now, punk? I have my shield up. What? What's up, buddy? Dude, will you stop? Hit your face, bro. Get wrecked. Oh, I'm so close, guys. I'm so close to killing this fool. Oh my god, dude, let me get into my inventory! Punk! Let me, like, get into my inventory, dude. Punk? No, 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 no. Punk. Oh my god, will you leave me alone, dude? Step back, son. I have enough FP, so why would it not let me use my woogies? Why can't I not use my wolf again? Does it only allow me to use the wolf like once in a boss fight? Are you kidding me? draw you guys as aggro. Oh, but you know what? If I take out enemies in a group,
Oh yeah, they're just gonna come back to life. What am I thinking? That ain't gonna count. Uh, okay. I need some health so bad, guys. Oh, this guy just skulking me. Punk. since this is kind of a group let it count and let me get some regeneration on my stuff on my hills what is this just remember to check that out again Seven. sure I'll use a stone sword key here Oh, that's what opened that up. Nice. You couldn't access that unless you use a stone sword key. So that's where I use all my stone sword keys. Got to remember that. Guys, you have no idea how nerve-wracking this is. If you played any of these games, how just like they can breathe on you and kill you. I'm so close to killing this boss, but I've got no health. And he's got minions that keep... Hanging out too that I got to deal with to just keep coming back to life. This is garbage. So nervous to even try to take this guy on. I mean, I can restart it. Go back and go back to my side of grace and get my HP back up oh my god that's so close yes yes son you have been failed punk Skeletal Militiaman Ashes. Come on, I can summon skeletons now? What? Come on, baby. Let's go. Let's go, Elden Ring. I see you. I see you, Elden Ring. Whoo, that was close. I did it, guys. Oh, my God, I can't believe I did it. Well, you know what that means. This episode is going on way longer than I anticipated, so we are going to book back over here. We are going to absolutely avoid all of these constantly regenerating skeletons. I wonder if by killing that guy, maybe the skeletons will no longer regenerate. Guess what? We'll find out on a future episode because I ain't doing that tonight. Oh, no, sir. Tibia Mariner. Yes, indeed. We did it, guys. We did it. We are going to wrap up here, guys. This episode is going on way longer than I anticipated. Took out that boss. Fantastic. Got through that cave and found that other area with the Dragon Communion Church. Church of Dragon Communion, whatever it was called. Hey, just wanted to say thanks to everybody for joining me on this ride. Appreciate each and every one of you guys for your continued support. This has been Lawrence's Let's Plays. I'll see you guys real soon. Take care, guys.